Hi, we are here at uh, basically at our studio apartment that uh, about three, four weeks ago we have been tasked to give the impact of a small size studio apartment with the intelligence that is required by the demanding ones, so the call. However, we have actually met the demand and we are actually using the HDL Bass Pro wireless to actually minimize the wirings that is required to link up to the system. There's no RJ45 cable that's actually been linked into the system itself. All switches are actually independent control and it's linked to each other via by radio frequency approved by the local authority of Singapore. And we shall see when the owners comes in, we will give you a short presentation as to what kind of systems we have actually put in place. We control the blinds, we control the lights, we control the air conditioning. So, we shall begin our presentation. Yeah. You want to turn on the aircon first and bring out the blind? Okay. Yeah, be hot.
thing about the HDL Bash Pro system is that it is quite user friendly and what was amazing was that we did not need to run any additional wires and all that such that uh, to me it's a simple plug and play solution that automates my home. When I first saw it, I was indeed very impressed with what it can achieve. It's like a dream come true, like a childhood dream come true that you know I've, I've, most people would dream about only you know having you know like th this system and we made it a reality. Mm. All in all, uh, you know it's impressive when we first tried the app that we can you know actually control our lightings everything through our phone. And other than that, uh, when I shared this with my friends, mm, they found the idea very interesting and that, you know, like, I guess it's like a lot of people need some convincing to know what the system can do before they start to invest into this system. And to be honest, once you actually see what the system can, can do for you, you think that it's really value for the money. The illustration over how simple and simplified automation can be done. This is a typical on-off switch. Well, what happens is that non-situation-wise, you will actually just have two connections up here, which is the live and the switch wire going up. So basically, there's actually no neutral, or rather the return cable that you need to actually run the power back. Most of the systems uh, available in the market, they do require two cables to actually come in, which is actually the live and the neutral itself. So, we will have problems because in retrofitting, all the switches are already embedded and wires are already embedded into the wall. So as to them, that if you want to lay another cable inside, you can hack the wall, grind the wall, smash the wall. But for HDL, Bus Pro, wireless system, there are two options. One whereby, if you have a problem, Line the, laying the uh, switch, you could actually easily replace it with what we call a plug system. It runs about 13 amperes, you can actually just connect to a light and neutral into it. Thereafter, you use wireless uh, actuators or wireless devices, small little gadgets, fit it up to the lights, and use the gateway, and you'll be able to actually communicate with each other. On the other hand, for this particular house, what we did was that we used the live only wireless system. It looks, this is one of the interface that we use over here. Because we have the DLP, the digital display. And while we leave behind it, it's actually just a power interface. Let me just open up this thing. This is the user interface, what we call the panel. And this happens to be the power interface, in which is also the uh, system required. And behind it, there are two options for you, which is actually one single channel or you know, up to maximum three channels, compliance with uh, IMDA, and so on for Singapore use. As you can see, the license number is already there. Alright, internally wise, let me just briefly explain there is a protection fuse just in case power outrages. You can, it actually protects the device. And simply just use your switch wire, which is one life, and usually they look over to the switch wires, which is going to the light, and same connection methods used here. So, you can easily just fit this guy, take out the wires, fit in these guys, plug it in, change the drivers to demo, uh, try beaming, and so you can see that automation is actually being made. Yeah. So easy that I got nothing else to say.